you know, it's an important lesson to learn, I think. You know, think about it like you get into the bath, you're, you're running a bath for yourself. And as you're running the taps, you put the plug, the, what do you call it in the States? Uh, anyway, you, you, you stop off the, the stopper, is it? You put, you put the stopper into the, into the drain uh, to stop the water from going out the other side. Now you have to put that stopper in properly. If that stopper is not in, if there's a, a little tiny gap in there, the water's going to run out the other side. So you might be running out a lot slower than you're putting it in, but it's running out all the same. And it is exactly the same thing with your commitment and your responsibility. That's why I keep saying you need 100% responsibility in this journey. That, you know, 99% is not good enough. You know, 99, that 1% is where all the failure is going to happen. It's where you're talking yourself out of it. It's where all the stories happen inside your head, all the bad narrative. Um, it's where all the procrastination happens in that 1% that you're not committed. So, look, the problem with it is that when you start out in this journey, uh, when you first stop drinking alcohol, so you have the pain that is going to help you to stop the flow. And it's easy then to be 100% committed, right? To have that stopper fully engaged. But over time, um, as you start to feel better physically, and you start to feel better mentally, and the reasons why you stopped, they start to recede into the past. You know, the whole pain thing starts to disappear, and along with that is motivation. And along with that then, that stopper starts to come undone. And slowly but surely, your that 100% responsibility and the 100% commitment starts to drain. So, by the time most people get two, three, four weeks into this journey, maybe a couple of months, they're lucky if they're at 50% responsibility. And I'm not saying that to be a fucking dick, right? It's just the truth. Because the habit that you have, the alcohol habit, or the alcohol habits, all the habits that are involved with alcohol, they're strong because they've been, you've been feeding those all along, right? You've been, you've been adding to them, you've been strengthening those um, internal pathways for so long. And now, what, what are you left with? You know, you've got this, we did a video about this before saying that, you know, the, the alcohol habit is the wolf and um, the habit that you're trying to move into, the person that you're trying to move into is the, is the chihuahua. So you've really got to work on that. That's what the work is about. It's about strengthening your commitment as you're moving along, doing the work. And that starts from early on. It starts from very early on in this journey. Take care. Onwards and upwards.